Happy Halloween! Today we're going to be doing a painting of a simple pumpkin on an 8x10 size canvas. So get your pumpkin or a picture of a pumpkin and let's get started. These are the materials you'll need for this project. First I'm going to sketch it out. The main thing during this stage is you want to make sure you're happy with the size and shape of your pumpkin. Now it's time to paint. Begin by doing a thin wash of burnt sienna mixed with water. Washes are a great way to have undertones peek through. Also, it helps with being able to identify the area that the pumpkin will be in while you're working on the background. Added to my palette are sap green, cadmium yellow, and Payne's gray. Using your own unique brush stroke style, add in the blurred background that you'd like. I decided for my pumpkin to be set in foliage. With deeper, darker colors, begin to give attention to the foreground. For mixing the darker colors you see here, I am simply adding Payne's gray to the burnt sienna. If the leaves are more yellow, I add yellow to the burnt sienna. In that bottom left area, I added a tiny bit of titanium white over the burnt sienna colored leaf. I add in strokes of green, which is sap green with a little white and a hint of burnt sienna in the background. Notice how the painting looks flat because of the definition of the strokes in the background? Using the dry part of your brush, blend all the background strokes into each other, being careful not to actually mix the colors in with each other too much. This creates the illusion that the background is now in fact in the background and further away than the pumpkin. As I approach the foreground, I allow the strokes to become more defined. The green I use in the midsection has less white than the green that is in the background. For the foreground leaves, the colors may vary between burnt sienna with yellow or burnt sienna with Payne's gray. I added in a little bit of Prussian blue mixed with Payne's gray to give a little more pop to the foreground. I also use this combination to define the pumpkin stem. If you don't want your stem to appear blue the way mine does, you could mix up sap green with Payne's gray or add yellow with Prussian blue and burnt sienna. Pumpkin layers contain cadmium red and burnt sienna with cadmium yellow. Adding light to the pumpkin is easy. Look at your pumpkin and decide where is the light hitting the pumpkin. Then mix the orange and brown you've already made in with titanium white and add strokes in until you reach the lightest part. In the lightest part, I used almost all titanium white. Going back in with some of that dark brown, I redefined the pumpkin lines. Then I went back and forth between light and dark and gave the pumpkin bumps by creating horizontal lines. Moving back into the foreground, I added in light yellow and then mixed crimson red with Prussian blue to make purple. Anytime you see highlights in this painting, it is simply a little white added into the color that I was already using. painting style, the aim isn't to have a photographic likeness. As long as you are having fun and you like what you're painting, that's what counts. about an hour for it to dry. I mixed metallic copper paint in with my acrylic varnish. You can see the effect of that best on the stem. This is after the painting dried. I hope you
you had fun painting with me today. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. What do you want to paint next? Shoot me a nap paint that in the comments and please subscribe.